So the next projection we're going to do is an AP scapula. This image is also going to be done lengthwise like the lateral scapula was that's on the PO week scap Y and lateral scapula video if you haven't watched that yet. Those two are together, so that is where you will find your lateral scapula. It is titled as such. For the AP scapula, I actually bring my patient in and I have them face PA to start because what your central ray is directed to is the middle of the scapula. And that can be hard to imagine, especially for students just learning. You don't really have your x-ray vision yet. It can be hard to imagine where that scapula is living in the body from the AP position. So I'm gonna have my patient come in and face the board for me. And again, you're just feeling to make sure that you have some light field below the inferior border of the scapula and a little bit of light field above the top of the shoulder. Okay, so right now this is the inferior border. They're usually pretty symmetrical, but in the end I'm gonna be doing the other side. I'm gonna do the left, so I'm just gonna to shift to make sure. Never wanna assume everybody's body aptus is completely equal because none of us are completely equal. All right, once I have this centered where the inferior border has a little bit of light field below and I have a little bit of light field above, I'm gonna have her turn around to AP position. That's not necessary once you feel comfortable doing this scapula position, it's just something that can help a lot for students who haven't quite yet learned their x-ray vision, okay? So I'm going to do her left shoulder, I'm gonna have her shift off to her right. And the other thing that you can feel for is <clears throat> that coracoid again, just go down a little bit below that, you're gonna go lower into the squishy, it's not squishy for everybody, but for a lot of us it is. You can feel kind of the hard pectoral muscle, but there's a little squishy part off laterally on the patient. That's pretty much where your central ray needs to go, just inside or medially about an inch or so. Okay, so right now I know that I have everything I need because I checked close uh, in the PA position. And I'm just gonna preemptively put my marker on here for the left side, because all I have to do from here for this projection is I'm gonna have my patient put her hand up like a stop sign. That just pulls that scapula out of the view a little bit. Leave a little bit of extra light on the side if you're able to, um, so that you're not clipping any anatomy. This is another one to be really careful with when you have your heavier patients. Make sure that you're centering to the center of, almost kind of the center of the clavicle where that would be, versus just the complete center of the patient or the lateral border of the patient. If they have a lot of extra tissue on the outside here, there's not um, any bones here, this is all soft tissue, so just make sure about mid-clavicle and down is where you're going to need to be, okay? Again, lengthwise cassette, hand up in the stop sign position, center to the middle of the scapula.